72. Inertia, Tamaguna. After sunset Tamaguna predominates until twilight and puts the whole world to sleep. As Gunas, Satogana, Rajogana, and Tamaguna remain in primordial Prakriti. After creation starts, Mahat comes into existence, in which Satogana predominates. From Mahat comes Buddhi, intellect, from Buddhi comes Ahamka, ego, which becomes Sattvika Ahamka, creating mind, Monas, and Rajasika Ahamka, creating Indriyas, the sensory organs and work organs, and Tamasika Ahamka, creating the Tanmatras. Tanmatra denotes that which is pure, not mixed. The Tanmatras are five, sound, touch, color, taste, and smell. They correspond to the five great elements, Mahabhutas, Akash, air, fire, water, and earth. Combined, they create the individual self, in which these gunas are active in all four states of consciousness. Acting in the manifested world, they are not the pure gunas of primordial Prakriti, for they have also become manifested. At that level, Tamaguna becomes the greatest snake of the game board, Tamas, at the end of the seventh chakra. In the eighth row the gunas are near the source and consequently purer. The last square of the board and the beginning of a new phase of cosmic play provides the form, the material for the player. It comes in the form of a snake that bites the player and brings him back to earth. Tamaguna is differentiated conscious energy. It contains light, but because of ignorance and lack of initiation it cannot evolve by itself. It needs rajas before the sattva within it will come out, reaching down to earth and taking form with the help of karma. Tamaguna veils the truth, making a serpent appear as a rope and a rope as a serpent. Darkness is the essential attribute of Tamaguna, and inactivity its nature. The player who lands here immediately leaves the plane of cosmic forces and returns to earth to discover a new path to truth. What happens is known only to the player and to the one who is truth.